Hey everybody, Aaron here. Welcome back to another anime review. Today we're looking at Code Realize Episode 7, which I will say I partially liked and partially did not at the same time, and I don't know why that is. Maybe it's just me for this episode, but I don't know why this, this episode didn't resonate with me very much. And I watched this, by the way, before a lot of the other shows. I'm just doing the reviews out of order of what I should have watched. Um, but the thing was is that this week's episode, like, I understood why Cardia went, you know, to see... The, uh, the the place that she had all the all the homunculus and stuff of her, and I understand that you know she found the mystery item of this this letter that we find out later on is is a bunch of codes that basically Fran most likely will know what they mean and also is meant to be a kind of thing to tell Cardia where to be and where to go find the father possibly. Um, I get that you know and that's the setup for probably next week's episode after we see the whole kind of end of whatever is going on with that whole war breaking out. Um, from, I forgot the guy's name off the top of my head, which is terrible, but, uh, the, the dude that we met last, a few weeks ago also, but he's like the main enemy of them, which, I should have really remembered his name, why, why can't, it's just blinking at me for some reason. Um, but, the thing I think I disliked about this episode was probably the, the kind of whole past issues and stuff like that. Now, I liked Lupin's past, don't get me wrong, that one I want to say, Lupin's past was very interesting, I, I think that... It's not as bad as he made it sound like it was. Like, oh, it's like, I'm, I'm a bad person because I stole and, and was very rude to people and, and even killed people, etc. I'm like, yeah, but you didn't kill people that were good people. You killed people that are kind of messed up. And also, you, you stole from basically everyone, it seemed like. You, you stole from what, what people also were. the, the I want to say also bad people. So it's like, I don't know why you make it sound that bad. I don't know why you're like worried that Cardi's going to see you in some terrible light now. I mean... Legit, you've treated her so well over the course of the series so far, so, like, why would she hate you? Um, but I think what, what annoyed me was Cardia's backstory. And that's because I didn't really feel anything for it. I, it almost became like a, a Frankenstein. I think that's what they were trying to go for, is like a Frankenstein's monster type story where, you know, you had all the pitchforks and, and uh, mobs outside her house at one point. Um, she was with a woman who I don't know if that was her mother or her sister because they don't really make that clear. And if they did, they did say it, I basically must have missed it because I swear to God, it, it seems like they really didn't care to tell what she was to her. Um, maybe a caretaker. Maybe that's probably the best thing is probably her caretaker, but, you know, she ended up dying trying to protect her from the mob, and then, you know, Lupin came in uh, mimicking what happened before because another mob uh, came outside and attacked her, saying that she's the cause of this plague that all of a sudden burst down the city. It's like, I, I, I get it, but at the same time, I just didn't feel like it was a great story. I felt like they could have presented it a better way. I don't know. I don't know if that's just me. I don't know how you guys would, would you know, kind of... What would you guys think about this? What, how would you infer what happened? Would you think it's trying to be like, oh, feel bad for Cardio because, you know, she's always been ostracized as a monster. We know this already. There's no point of putting this story out there when everyone already knows that she's, she's been seen as a monster. And it doesn't really make me feel like, you know, oh, hey, look, I feel so bad for... I get it already, you were, you know, that's what you explained very early on, you, you showed it by how people reacted to you in the very beginning, you know, I don't think you really needed this kind of flashback of which I don't even think was that well done to be honest with you, but that's just me, I don't know, you guys could have liked that episode, I would love to know, what did you guys think about this week's episode, please leave a comment below telling me, uh, as always, if you did like this review, please hit like the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, you know the whole nine, I will talk to you guys later, um, I have uh, Fox Beer Matchmaker Show, which should be out relatively soon after this. Uh, I rewatched the episode, so I'll be out probably in five minutes of, of this, or maybe even at the same time, because I'm upload these things at the same time, essentially. I'll talk to you guys then. Have a good one, everyone. God bless you all. Bye-bye.